Hello. <laughs> we are here again. All right. So I guess, I guess that's... Take two. Take, we yeah, take to, two, take two, take two. I actually delete We forgot this to turn the music off in the background. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Okay. So. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, Happy Monday. Always Thank starting strong. Thank you for joining strong. our live stream today. We have Andrew Thist. Yep. <laughs> and we and got I'm Meg. Megan. Meganite. Meg. <laughs> Megan. Megan. Meggie. Meggles. You, uh, what? My it's, friend calls me Maggie. My cousin used to call me Meggles. It's literally getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of different names. Hey, Sarah. Did Hi, you catch Sarah. that? Did you hear that? You're here. Meggles. Meggles. Did you hear That's that? That's what my cousin used to call that, me. Meggles. <laughs> <laughs> I had some weird ass names. <laughs> oh, man. Not the ass names. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any nicknames growing up? I don't want to talk about them. You don't want to talk about them. They're really. Bad. I need to do some digging now. They're I'm gonna reach really, out to your friends. Really, really bad. Do oh. not reach out to my. Oh, friends. I am. I'm I don't even like out my to friends. Them. No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gretchen. Sarah, you had nicknames. What were they? No, she's saying she. I think she said. Oh, like she heard. Oh, she heard. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, we haven't even gotten to the theme yet. We're going to let people pour in, you know. We're going to yeah. joke around a little bit about yeah. how she used to be called Meggles for everyone who missed that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, I, I had, had some pretty nickname, bad nicknames. another nickname, but I don't think it would be appropriate. Say, I was, um, I was a, uh, you know, I'll talk about one. I'll talk about one. I was in, uh, I was in middle school and... I, uh, these are my friends now, BT dubs. Uh, these are my <laughs> friends uh, that uh, I talk to on a regular basis, like at least three hours out of the day, every <laughs> single flipping day. Um, I, uh, I had uh, struggled with some weight <laughs> in middle school. So uh, my nickname was Bump da da Bajiggles. <laughs> All right, relax. Damn. <laughs> immediately. Immediately. I say Bajiggles. Everyone point and laugh. <laughs> so, you know, we all okay. over, we all overcome stuff, you, that you know. On. We all we, what? <laughs> we all we all we all overcome things as I clearly have. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I said, these are my friends that I speak to on a rare daily basis. My Oh, you know, damn. All right, you know what, Adam? I feel you. Sorry. Bless you. And you know what? <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> so, so, um, Adam, I feel you. <laughs> Actually, I had a nickname, another one. It was Miley because I was so obsessed with Miley Cyrus. Oh, no. That's so bad. Oh, no. That one was. Oh, no. Bad. However, will I overcome Miley? Hello, Hi, Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's just like, if it makes you feel better about your bajiggles name, I was called Miley. It's like, oh, just a different name. Oh, just, <laughs> oh, just, <laughs> oh, I used to get made fun of a lot for my Hannah Montana obsessions. Listen, I'd rather be made fun of for Hannah Montana, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, some people might argue that one's worse than the other, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's All right. talk about the theme today. Let's yes. not talk about my uh, Bajiggles nickname. <laughs> well, we have like a few different themes How today, How much you want to bet she's going to remember that halfway through the stream and start dying? Probably. Laughing. Yeah, she's going to be like, Probably. <laughs> The theme. the theme. Okay, so we have kind of multiple themes. Um, going off of last week's live stream, we got some questions. Some people were like, hey, oh, so... Oh, man, Sarah, I need to know. Oh, I wait, think... only if you're comfortable sharing. Sorry, Meg. What, so, what she commented? I... <laughs> <laughs> so, this is interaction. Ah, yes. you know? <laughs> Interaction. <laughs> My dad and Graham gave me nicknames. Yeah, see, that's what I read. There we go. <laughs> yeah. then, oh, man, is it hot in here or what? No, it I'm is, Honestly, it is hot in here. <laughs> the, the lights. I'm kind of sweaty. <laughs> so, anyways. Anyways, okay, um, so going off of last week, some people reached out to us and were like, okay, we know we're indigos or, you know, someone is, blah, blah, blah. What do we do, like, to take care of ourselves because we're so empathic and, like, nope, like, what are some things that will help us 
in this so we're not struggling all the time. So I came up with some stuff, so we'll talk about that. Um, so this will go for any empath. And then we're also going to talk about the flower moon. The flower moon. Because May it, is the month of the flowers. April showers bring... May flowers. May, 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 yeah. We knew May this. flowers. <laughs> April showers bring May flowers. Hi, Kate. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, this month is the flower moon. It's happening on May 5th. Or the height of it is happening on May 5th, I should yeah. say. Because that's uh, from the... <laughs> Hello, Lynette. So that's from the, uh, that's from, uh, the internet. Because I actually am... I, I don't know when the full moon happens and things like that. But this is the month. The month of the flowers. Oh, yeah. So we can celebrate this all month long, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. Flowers are pretty cool. I like to celebrate them pretty often. Flowers happen all summer, I think. So this actually goes in line with what we were talking about, um, uh, what, like a month or so ago, where bringing in new life, this moon is like, this is like the moon for this. This is right the life near is Beltane. Now here. The, the, the life is now here. The life, the life, the life. We were planting it and <laughs> like, now da, it's da, 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 you know. So, um, you know, now it's here. So this is the point of this month. It's bringing in spring. It's Beltane, which we will talk about at some point. Not today. Soon. Okay. And, um, you know, and yeah. So, um, cool. And we're going to talk about agate. Yes, today is all about agate for we the have crystal. Tons of agate. Tons There's of so many kinds different agate. kinds of agate out there. So much agate. So much. A lot of people Very like beautiful. to say agate. Agate. Agave. That, I've never heard mine's always on tequila. I uh I, I don't never, even drink. <laughs> I I never uh I yes, Fern Gully Adam. Oh my god, I love Fern Gully. What's f Fern Gully? What fern <laughs> I'm sorry. F Fern Gully. Fern Gully. <laughs> so, so, Wait, am I saying it wrong? Fern Gully? Fern... So, Fern Gully. Okay. Fern, Fern Gully. comma Gully. Okay. Kind of like that. Like, like that. Fern Gully. Is a, be a, be a beautiful movie um, about like a fairy kind of thing. Oh, man. Now, now like the, the pollution. So their homes are getting. I don't want to ruin it either. For you, are you like? Are you gonna seek it out? Like, I mean, probably. All right. Well, I don't want to ruin it for you. Okay. It's a movie about fairies, and they lose their home, and pollution turns into a monster. So oh. yeah. See, exactly. Sounds exactly like something you would list watch. So I will watch. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin Carrie. it. Carrie, Carrie's a good person to watch. It. I don't want to. She definitely knows what Fern Gully is. Probably. Probably. Fern Gully. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fern Gully. <laughs> Fairy of the forest is tuned with nature. Indeed. Yes. Adam. Thank you. Very nice. I think there's a Fern Gully 2 as well. When did it come out? Like a thousand years ago. Ah. Is that the one with the green thumb? Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm. Huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, Lynette. Yeah, it's so good. Fern Gully is amazing. Yeah. Basically a thousand years ago. It's a little off. <laughs> um, so. Oh man, that's 31 years. Gross. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I always forget, you know. How old you are? Just hold on. <laughs> 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 like, like, dang. Um, yeah, so. Um, so we have a ton of agate today. <clears throat> yep. And yeah, so we will be having another giveaway. This is what we will be giving away. It is oh, a moss agate here. sphere. A beautiful moss agate sphere. Can we get the crystal cam? Thank you. Fern Gully 2 is on Amazon. Okay. Oh. Emily, like the to to focus. Emily, the topic this week generally is the flower moon and some new life that comes with that. But we will be answering some questions from last week. This is beautiful. Okay, yeah, Moss nice Agate one, right? is probably my favorite crystal. One of them. Well, I'm a Taurus, so I'm very earthy. <laughs> Sarah, yes. <laughs> Sarah, you're on fire today with the, with the comments. Oh, Jordan doesn't have a spear yet. Ooh. This could be your chance to win it. I mean, you already commented, so you're already in it. So. Oh, anyone thank you, who, Sarah. Anyone who hasn't... 
What are you laughing at? Anyone who hasn't commented yet, please. <laughs> he always laughs at me. Um, please comment, and then you'll be entered in the drawing on the Wheel of Names. The drawing or the drawing? The drawing. Okay. Right? Wait, what did I say? Jawing. Well, my mouth gets messed up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you crap. I know. <clears throat> Anyways, yes. Yeah, so if you comment at any time during this live stream, then you will be entered <laughs> into our wheel to win this yeah, beautiful Moss Agate Sphere at the end. He's laughing with you, wait. <laughs> I could just be sitting here and he'll laugh at me. <laughs> at me. Not with me. At me. <laughs> at me. At All me. the time. All the time. I'm used to it. Bejiggles. But yes, this sphere <laughs> is gorgeous. Oh, I didn't get her. I love it. But okay. So All right. Sweet. We will show that I a few more times throughout the so I'm just put um, it stream. Here. But again... Especially if you're new here, Thanks. comment at any time. Even if you just say hi, your name is going to be entered into the wheel that will be spun at the end, and you will get a chance to win the lovely Moss Agate Sphere. Awesome. Even if you have to log off before the end, we will just message you if you win. Yeah, make sure if you logged on and you're like, oh, I'm not going to be here to the end, just comment. Comment <clears throat> anything. So as long as yep. well, within reason, of course, be, you know, good. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> Um, I was about to claim it. Do we have any? No, we don't have any more nice. moss. No, we do. We have one. We have, we have one, one moss, ga moss agate sphere that we're going to be selling on our live stream today. So make sure you stay on for that. Oh, you're about to claim it? There, yeah. Oh, wait. Is that why you said that? Yeah. The comment. I yes. almost said the exact same oh thing. Oh, my you gosh. Just said. All right. Thank you, Lynette. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, Lynette, you're mainly laughing with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> All, right All right, so, so anyways, do you I want to talk about... Should I start off with, like, yeah. the empath thing? Yeah. Okay, so I did just want to touch base on empath stuff regarding our live stream last week. We talked a lot about indigo, crystal, rainbow children, the qualities of them, how to determine if you are one, yada, yada, yada. We didn't talk <laughs> much about what to do to help yourself if you are one and yeah, we like literally skip so that whole thing. <laughs> indigos crystals rainbows all empaths um and the majority of us are empathic so <laughs> this is gonna help anyone really um there's all different kinds of empaths which i actually want to bring up this book i got a lot of my information from this book and it's amazing so if you're an empath you should get it it's called the empaths survival guide by not Judith sponsored. Orloff. But. <laughs> yes, not sponsored. Not sponsored, but really good book. Um, she's an awesome, <laughs> awesome <Sarah>. author. <laughs> <laughs> Micheline gave away her Moss Agate Sphere. That means she needs another one. Hey, this could be your chance to win it. <laughs> or buy it. There's, there's yeah, also, there's, one there's, there's one to buy. There's one to buy at some point, too. Um, so there's physical empaths. Um, well, I'm just going to go over some of the types of yeah, empaths because yeah, there's so many. So there's physical. So let's say I'm sitting ne next to Andrew. He's been having some pains in his leg. So let's say I'm sitting why, why next to... Why is that funny? <laughs> he's sorry, been, uh, he's I'm an old man. Yeah, he is an old man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sitting next to Andrew and let's say I start getting pains in my leg. That's a physical empath. I'm like feeling what he's feeling physically. Emotional empath, that's when, if Andrew's really depressed, then I'm going to start feeling really depressed hanging out with him. <laughs> See, that's what I... <laughs> like, I love you, damn. Andrew. So, I'm just coming I, up with examples that, that, that second one <laughs> mm -hmm. is generally how I feel, too. Yeah. It's like, I don't get the physical aspect, personally. Okay, yeah. yeah. I do sometimes, actually, mm -hmm. and I notice it when I'm massaging. Mm. So I'm that kind of also makes sense, too. massage therapist as well and so when yeah. i'm working on clients sometimes i can actually like feel sometimes like an aching in my knee like you know after i'm working on their knee and they have knee problems let's say so it happens <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, not I all just, the like, time but sometimes it's like you're just massaging someone and your like bone breaks up. oh <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good um <laughs> emotional too that's a, that's hard because i open myself up so much so i really catch on to other people's emotions especially if i'm working on them um and then intuitive is like uh, telepathy, so did I say that right? Telepathy, telepathy, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> so like if I'm having a thought and then Andrew has a thought at the same exact time, um, or like having dreams, getting that messages, like weird, uh, quick thing on that. Yes. Interestingly enough, if you don't have that like telepathic empathy, 
with another person, if you hang out with that person enough, you'll actually develop it, which is crazy. That makes sense. Like Bedros and I never had that, and now we say the same things at the same time constantly. Oh, I see that you know? happening. And yeah, I'm that's sure actually I'm starting to get like that with Nick too. Sometimes it I noticed sense. it this weekend. Mm-hmm. We we're like thinking about the same things at the same time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Um, so that's, yeah. Um, there's like animal and plant empaths. So if your plants around you aren't doing well, then you're going to start feeling that. Like sometimes, like I was, I take care of the plants at the shop here and I was out for like a few weeks and I came in and they were sad and I could feel it. It was just a dense energy in the shop. I'm like, no, I need to water these plants. So, you know, so <laughs> plant empath, um, animal empath. So, yeah. Anyway, there's all different kinds of empaths, which this book talks about. Um, And then being an empath, if you're not protecting yourself, it can affect you in multiple ways. Health being number one. Health physically and mentally. There is a way to turn on, to quote unquote, turn on and off your empathy. It's never fully on and it's never fully off. There's always that gray area. But if you're in a large crowd and you get affected by that, that's no good. Like, you should be able to enjoy a concert. Exactly. Ugh. You should be able to go outside, mm-hmm. you know? So, hold, uh, <clears throat> creating some of that block for yourself, um, just an energetic block, will help. And you don't have to block everything. Just enough. Yeah. And it's good to do that before falling into another thing that em- empaths can fall into is addiction. Because <coughs> everything is so overwhelming. So, again, going to a concert having some drinks so you can relax because the crowd's too enough yeah. too much but if you don't want to drink then there's other things you can do yeah mm-hmm they're yes. like <laughs> grounding and centering is huge because especially when you're feeling all those emotions it tends to almost kick your own soul or your own well-being or etc out of your body mm-hmm. to where you almost feel dissociated but you're not dissociating you just feel dissociated because Okay, think of a cup, right? You have a ton of water in there. You have a full glass, right? Keep filling it up. You're going to overflow. But what water is going to flow up? Think about it. If you have a glass and water is flowing in, we see that water rush through. That water pushes through the water that's already there and then fills up on the bottom quick and then pushes the water that's already on the top. You're that top part. The other people are on the bottom. If you think of it like that, they're filling you up now and you're just getting pushed out. You're not uh, dissociating. You are dissociated. That's a good way. To There's it. a difference. So, yeah. don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the advantages and the disadvantages of being an empath. Real quick. Before we talk about like what to do. You know everything. <laughs> I mean, like, well, like, that's, like, one of the big things, right? Where it's just, like, you just know, which is nice. That's pretty great. That's the advantage. Yeah. Right down, don't you have do a huge it. heart. You have, like, <laughs> instinct it. to help others in need, which is great. Um, you can easily talk to other people mm-hmm. um, and, and understand them. Uh, let's see. You're passionate, deep, and creative. That's a good one. You have a deep appreciation for the natural world, strong bond with animals, your intuitive, spiritual, and can sense energy. So this can help. This is definitely come in handy for me if I'm going somewhere and I'm like, oh no, I feel like I should not go in there. Bad juju in there. So That's and then saved also so same with people. Times. Yeah. So we can sense the energies of different places or with different people and we know who and what to stay away from. There have been times I didn't go to a specific <clears throat> place and the next day I heard in the news that it caught on fire or like that there was like a yeah. robbery there or there's something happened down the street. There was like, a time in high school I went to this party and I was having a good time with my friends and everything. And um, I was in one room and my best friend that came with me was in another room. And all of a sudden, like my intuition just kicked in, was like, you need to get 
out of here. Mm-hmm. And we were all having a good time. Nothing was happening. Like, but my intuition was like, you need to leave. So I went and got my friend and she's like, I'm having fun. And I'm like, we need to leave. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Screw your we, need we need to, to get out of here. So we <laughs> left. And the next day I found out that shortly after we left, the cops came and Damn. everybody's parents were called. And like, yeah, it was a big Man. thing. Anyways, so, we made it just Megan, were time. you there? No, I was at a... Uh... I was at Applebee's. Uh, <laughs> this is a nice you were, boy. Uh, you were I at Applebee's for there. five hours. Applebee's is pretty good. Endless apps. Endless apps. <laughs> I take it seriously. <laughs> so those are definitely ways in which it can. Um, also, yeah, and it can help you in relationships too, for sure. Yeah, it's never worked for me, but <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Um, All right, so disadvantages becoming overstimulated, (laughs) obviously, what we were just talking about. Large crowds, noises, being sensitive to noises, to lights. Don't go to the casino. uh, (laughs) It's probably not a bad... Actually, you know what's funny? I had dated someone who was a complete... Like, you could tell she was just unbelievably empathetic. Um, And my grandmother somehow convinced her to go to the casino with us. Uh, one day and um we had gone and 20 minutes in she's like this place feels gross i'm like yeah i know she was like why do you come here i was like well i mean it's like my place to hang out with my grandma she's here every single damn day um but i uh but you know when you're there you're Wait, feeling no you're feeling <laughs> you're feeling that's a good note when you're feeling like the anger of the people that are like, I lost. And then you're feeling the, like, wah, 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 and it's like, it's like extremes. Oh, yeah. It's nowhere like, it's crazy. I made it, like, because even if you made your money back, it's just like, dang, I just wasted six hours. So, like, people <laughs> are still pissed. So, like, people are either like, Ugh, or, woo, you know, and it's just like, no one wants to, <laughs> no one, no one, yes, no one wants to, no, no one has a, like a mid ground emotion there. Not to mention the crazy lights, the noises. Like I went like a few weeks ago with a couple friends, and honestly, I mean, like even though I I did win money, but even though like I was just like, eh, you know, like the lights. I had a headache for two days. Yeah, that like, brings just, my like, next one: experiencing emotional or social hangovers. Yeah, I was. I like drinking is <laughs> like <laughs> if I'm super drunk and I have a hangover, this felt worse. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll tell you, this felt worse. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, experiencing emotional burnout. Mm-hmm. That's a big one. Emotional burnout? Yes. Yeah, I feel that all the time. Yep. All the time. <laughs> all like, the time. I'm like this close to bawling my eyes out all the time. <laughs> Damn. Know. Well, that's well, why I have this book to help me well, out. I'm going to start trying to do this Sometimes stuff. I'm like at my house, like doing work on my computer. I'm in the like kitchen. My dad walks in. He was like, he's such a dad. Cause he's like, are you all right? And I'm like, nah. And he's just like, do you need to talk about it? I'm like, no, nah, I think I'm good. He's like, all right. <laughs> and then he like goes to the oh other my room. God, and, like, I love your dad. watches TV. <laughs> hey, Gina. Um... um. Bet yeah. the house on red. <laughs> so, and also feeling isolated and lonely because sometimes when, you know, everything's too overwhelming, we do isolate ourselves. We don't go mm-hmm. out as often. We, you know, kind of stop talking to our friends as much. We. What's interesting about that, I keep yeah. cutting you off. Oh, that's totally yeah, fine. it's not going to probably stop. It's okay. So, so <laughs> I'm um, used to it. <laughs> what's interesting is that when I'm feeling uncomfortable, I feel even worse alone in the house. Oh. And I need to get out to go see people. So I'm like either going yeah. on a drive and talking to someone for three hours while I'm driving, or I'm like literally hitting up 20 people being like, what are you doing? Where are you? Like, what do you like? Let's hang out. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. So it's interesting that you bring that up. Mm-hmm. I do that too sometimes. It's the op- like, I feel like it's the opposite for me. So now we'll talk about some things to help relieve your adrenal fatigue. So again, when we're feeling all these emotions and everything's so overwhelming and we're always like, oh my God, oh my God, our adrenals are like dead (laughs) so to help kind of bring them back to life there's lots of different things you can do um adam completely yes agree with adam 
Okay, so different things you could do to help with your fatigue, your empath fatigue. Number one, diet. We didn't follow that today. <laughs> I, <laughs> no junk or sugar or I had cotton candy. Heavy that stuff. That is the <laughs> We had lots of candy of the and gods. cotton candy and sugary I, stuff earlier. I only had cotton candy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I didn't have the peach. So eating a more whole food diet, which Wait, I've I found, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm just. Oh my god! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See now you got my brain fixated on one thing. We found out Andrew has ADHD this week. No, I don't. Uh, no, oh. <laughs> I don't like. Uh, I need to go see some people. Okay, yeah. okay. He needs to see people. So, yeah. yeah, I still need to figure it out, but yeah. I definitely do. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, speaking, oh yeah, what were we talking? Okay, whole food diet. <laughs> um, only I'm, shop at Whole Foods. Whole only food diet. Whole food diet, there we go. Buy, so buy your ice cream at Whole Foods <laughs> instead. <laughs> when I say whole food, I mean... <laughs> Fruits, veggies, healthy grains, lean meats, or vegan proteins like tofu, mm -hmm. beans, stuff like that. Just good stuff. Stuff that just comes right from the earth. Not all the like sugary crap that we make and put on the shelves and like Wendy's and stuff. Like <laughs> we like check out, <laughs> but, <laughs> check out your <laughs> like ma look at how many preservatives are in your food. Look yeah. at because all that stuff can like food. really affect our yeah. 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 as well um so i definitely notice a difference on the days i eat a lot healthier versus the days i don't oh yeah yeah like i'm gonna feel like crap today um <laughs> another tip add himalayan salt to your diet i actually met someone the other day she puts a little bit of himalayan salt in a glass of water every day is that good yeah himalayan salt is great for you for like you. like salt water doesn't does it dehydrate you more i don't know but I know Himalayan salt is great for you. Salt. Salt. So instead of your water, you can just put on your salad, whatever you want to do. Put on your ice cream. Obviously, exercising. <laughs> exercising helps so much. Um, exercising in the morning versus the night definitely is the way to go. That way, you know, because you're going to be all worked up. I've, you know, exercise right before bed. Not good. Not good. You can't sleep. <laughs> but exercising, meditating, obviously. Um, actually, in this book, it said check your cortisol levels. I guess there's a blood test you can get from your doctors to check really? your cortisol levels. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I might do that. Yeah. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Take vitamins, B vitamins, especially B and C vitamins. C is great for uh, energy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, funky stuff. I assume that is Kai? Question mark? No. Bethany, that's Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. Rolls through everyone who works here. Um, <laughs> and then two more tips. Be kind to yourself and take breaks from being online. Yeah. Especially at night. Except for now, because you're watching us. Yeah, no. But don't after us, then you can watch <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Beth. Nice. <laughs> Um, and then to help with those emotional hangovers that we talked about, there's this shower meditation. You can picture the water washing away all the negative energy. Simple as that. Mm. Just watch, watch it get flushed down the drain. Kind of like that thing I mentioned before. You breathe in the white light and you breathe out all the dirt and the crap. You know what I love doing? I like, so if you have a shower, <laughs> I know there was a pause, right? You know what I like doing? What? Nothing. No, <laughs> so... Um, if you have a shower head that has like a jet stream, there's like a weird thing that, so I let the water just hit the middle of my forehead Ooh. and let that go numb. It's crazy. It, it's like a med it's a meditation in of itself, but it relaxes you. Is that kind of like the spa when they like drip like an oil right on yeah, your Yeah, I eye? think so, yeah. Same thing. Maybe I've never done that. Me so neither, but I've really seen know. it and I'm yeah. curious on what it is and what it does. That also used to be, <laughs> gotta be careful with it, because that also used to be a torture thing too. Oh. Where people used to, yeah, I know, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so that used to be, they would put the person on like a thing or like a table. Okay. They would make sure they can't get up because that would defeat the whole purpose. Yeah. And then they would do one drip of water on their forehead and they would go insane. 
Oh. After like hours. God. We had some horrible torture mechanisms. Back yeah, well, humans day. are nuts. Yeah. Right? They are. That's uh, oh, breaking oh. things. So, so. Uh, Those are yeah. the non empathic ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gemstones, obviously, can help cure mm-hmm. an, or an emotional hangover. So, I wrote down black tourmaline, amethyst, or black obsidian are great. Smudge your space. Sage, Palo Santos. Um, rose water is great. Spray rose water all over yourself or in Rose water is actually good for demons, too. So Really? Uh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Roses vibrate at the highest level, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Over anything else. And you can make rose syrup out of them, too. Oh. And boil yeah. them down, add some sugar in there. I know this is against the diet thing we just talked about, but, <laughs> you know, you can put a little bit on your pancakes, on your Yum. ice cream. I want to try it. Like, like, I don't know. I'm down to try like, it. It's actually super good. It's really, <laughs> really good. Um, get out in nature. Mm-hmm. Salt lamps or lighting white candles. Weighted blankets. Weighted and blankets. seeking emotional support. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It was demon free then because she loved rose water. Oh, oh nice. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> rose, rose water is a huge... Rose water is huge in the Middle East. I know yeah? that. Like my grandmother and my other grandmother... <laughs> and like a lot of people in my family they put it on our pastry they would spray it in the air it would like literally any time i was at grandma's house it would be roses and i'm just like uh like at some point like it got to be a lot where it's like i smell it and i'm like my grandmother's around and i'm just like, <laughs> like <laughs> so yeah it's a it's a big thing in the middle east i know it can nice. be big of course in other cultures but i'm just happen to be middle eastern so i know that like it's huge in the middle east so yeah do they make it themselves or mm-hmm. is there like a well my grandparents did oh okay. i mean i you can buy it yeah i was gonna like, say i mean there's so many different companies out there if there's like a specific it, one that you guys get off <laughs> get your rose water from oh adam uh my family is from armenia, armenia. so we are armenian <laughs> armenia. armenia so we are armenian <laughs> it's a really small place on the map see that it's like that <laughs> um it's next to turkey under Greece, I think. I'm actually super bad at geography. So, but we're over there. We're in there. We're in there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but a lot of times you buy it, I noticed it has a, an alcohol content to it. So, oh, nice. Adam, that's what's up. Reppin. Ah. say we're basically cousins. There you go. <laughs> that, no, that, no, seriously, that's how like the two countries like generally think yeah. of each other. Yeah, no, yeah, generally. So, yeah. All right. So don't drink do you don't drink the rose water if you buy it unless it says you can because I know there's some level of an, like an ethanol content. So That's my cousin on screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So So I think that's it for unless yeah. you want to add anything more. I I, I mean think there's so I many interrupted different things you to enough. do. Lavender oil getting massages if you can <laughs> yeah like anything relaxing. relaxing like if you're yeah. feeling like crap think about it like and this is this is almost spiritual stuff aside if you're feeling like crap do something about it like don't go home if you here's the thing the easiest situ the easiest way a human deals with it is just wallow in it don't do that though because it's so much easy to it's, it's way easier to be on the couch and be like i hate everything <laughs> You know, and I'm not making that fun of people because do. I do it all the time. <laughs> I literally do it all the time. I was doing it this morning. So, like, you know, I had a couple assignments due for school and I'm like, <laughs> you know, so it's just like, I don't want to do it. And it's like, of course, it's way easier to do that. But you have to bring yourself to a space to give yourself self-care. Yes. I wonder how many times I said self 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 so all right now it is time for the flower moon <clears throat> so <laughs> the, the uh exactly adam absolutely we need to we need to um uh we need to uh 
Is that, is that thing uh, going up by itself? Oh no, okay, Adriana's. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Our oh, big no. like, oh, garage door no. thing is opening. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> all right. So, anyways. <laughs> yes, the feel free to sh share now, your stories, by the way. The flower moon represents the life and death cycle and is aptly named for its flowers, yes. right? Because what happens in winter? They're gone. What happens in summer? Ba -ba -da -ba, they're back. So, aptly named. There we go. May is my favorite month. May is also my favorite month. Is it? Well, both of our birthdays are in May. Oh, yeah. So, I Duh. mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Yep. <laughs> We're May <laughs> but, babies. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, I was going to say, oh, no, I kind of jumped a couple sentences ahead in my, uh, in my head. She's a Taurus. And he's a Gemini. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. So a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people, anytime I tell someone I'm a Gemini, they're like, oh. And I'm like, dude, seriously, come on, man. So, yeah, like, it's, it's, so it's just like, it's like, damn. Oh, so, my God. <laughs> Run. So, so it's like, you know, I mean, but yes, yes, I have revealed myself. I am a Gemini. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. I own the crap out of it. There's two of me, and he's a good kind. Uh, May, May Geminis are great. <laughs> Try telling people you're a Scorpio. Uh, facts. You know what, Rebecca? All right, I feel you. I feel you on that. <laughs> Honestly, I do. I do. So this is a perfect time where we can bring this cycle into us too and allow the parts of us that have needed to go, go. Now, parts of you that need to die, think about it. I'm sure you can name them. But the hardest thing is focusing during a car alarm. But the, far, the <laughs> hardest thing is when, um, when you know that you need to let parts of yourself die, but for some reason, you can't hold the space for them to leave. Like, okay, like, I know that I need to move on from a certain thing. Okay. Or I know that certain parts of me need to be worked on and let go. But for some reason, I can't focus on holding the space for them to go. I say, I'm like, yep, I know it, so let, let it go. Mm -mm. That's not how it works. You have to hold the space to allow it to go because just saying you know it and saying it can isn't actually the full scope of it it's kind of what we did last month at my house with the fire we held the space to what let the do? things go that we wanted to let go oh we did we did do that we did do that. yes yeah i was testing you oh my god i was testing you so I, uh... us two and our friends we had a fire and we all made the space to let go and what we needed to let go we wrote it all down on piece of paper we took our time thinking about it we went around in a circle and shared out loud if we wanted to what we were letting go and then we put it in the fire and literally watch the things go i don't even remember what i let go that's how far away it is <laughs> <laughs> that's like you know <laughs> and you passed so like so that, that's the big thing you know is that allowing holding that space like you don't have to do like a whole fire ritual or something like that maybe you that's just something we did but i mean it's an easy if you can get together and do that with friends why not i mean a you're having a fire marshmallows duh. and <laughs> number two like it's an easy time to hold the space to let this thing go, you know? And if you're already having the fire, just, you know, it's like five minutes. It's like, all right, burn, go away. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, like, you know, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, I tell people all the time, like spirituality doesn't have to be this thing where it's just like, oh, I need to figure out this super simple thing about myself. I got to climb the tallest mountain <laughs> and find the highest peak and speak to a frog with a beard and it will tell me that I am annoying. And, and you know, and like, it's just like, and I had to do all of that just to figure that out. It's like, no, you don't. Sometimes it's just a five minute fire and it's just like, yeah, that sucks. Boop, you know, and then that's it. So it doesn't always have to be super extravagant. If you wanted to be extravagant, you can. And then we did a second thing though that night to bring things in. Crap, what did we do? 
What is that noise in the background? Oh, I was like, do you not remember? No, I oh, remember. That would be a motorcycle. Um, so actually, we didn't have floral paper, but that would have been Adam. good for this. Like you were saying, remember the paper that has the wildflower seeds in it? Yes. So yeah, bring that up. we didn't have it, but we did write down on another piece of paper what we wanted to bring into our lives. And instead of burning it, we kept it and um, we sh sealed it shut with wax and flower petals. And I put it on my altar at home with my plants. So, uh, and then I think, what was it? We said we'd get rid of it when those things did come to fru mm -hmm. fruition. Um, but Andrew mentioned, if we had it, it would have been perfect, getting paper that has wildflower seeds in it so you can plant it and then watch the flowers grow mm -hmm. after you write the things and you want And those flowers on. are a good honor to that thing too. Yes. Because all of these things you're allowed to remember, honor it, that it, it was a part of you at a point in time. You know, and that was a fast was a facet of you, you know, so it's very important to honor that that was a facet of you. So whether it's negative or not, honoring that is extremely important. Mm -hmm. So. All right. So. All right. Now, another thing. People don't like change. Why don't we like change even though we constantly ask for change? Because it's it. scary. It's literally It's care. terrifying. A change is <laughs> A, extremely important, but we all know that. But mm -hmm. B, it, it's something you've asked for. Since, uh, hello Sharon. It's something we've all asked for because why are you even listening to this stream? Think, ask yourself that. Why are you listening to us blabber on? for like an hour and a half. Why are you interested in crystals? Why are you interested in spirituality? Because, because you're looking you want for to... a change. Exactly, because okay. you're looking to grow yourself and growing yourself. Growing pains. <laughs> that just popped into my head. Growing yourself, yes, there's it's growing hard. pains. It's, it's the, scary. It's part of the change. You're, yeah, you're gonna have growing you know, pains. Bethany has made her own paper before. She should do it with the seeds. Yeah, Ooh, she should do it with the seeds. Bethany. She, she was just in here two <laughs> seconds ago. I, I'll, I'll let her know, I'll tell her that. I actually have this little tattoo on my finger to remind me Over. that change is okay. So. <laughs> um, because I, I, growing up, a lot of things constantly changed in my life. And it was really scary and unsettling, traumatic, blah, blah, blah. But all of the changes ended up bringing good things in the end. So change this little tattoo is to always. look at every day yes, to remind Jordan. myself that change is good. Change is good. Jordan just commented, transformation. I got paid to caterpillar be here. <laughs> to the caterpillar to the butterfly. That's yes. transformation. That's oh, change. Yeah. Change. It might be scary. Let's talk about, let, you know what? Thank you, Jordan. Let's talk about that for a second. Okay. What happens to a caterpillar? It's flipping terrifying. It turns into mush. Yup, goo. Goo. Imagine being in a it's chrysalis absolutely insane. and your body just turns into, you know, it's just goo. <laughs> that was a gross sound. It just turns into goo. And then all of a sudden you're a beautiful butterfly. You know? Like how does that's, that even <laughs> happen? Goo. <laughs> it's, and that's, it's, it's crazy. It, it's, a, it's beautiful. That's what it is. It, it's beautiful. And yes, change can be terrifying, but in the end, you get your reward that you've been mm -hmm. looking for. Yeah. You know, that's the big thing. So change is good. Don't be afraid of it, you know? And yes, you will lose things in the process, but guess what? You had to lose those things. And you know what? It's not fun to lose things. I'm not going to sit here and be like, get over it. <laughs> but I, you know, like, of course it's hard. But if you never go through it, well, you won't grow through. You it. won't grow. That that trademark. If you, if you never if you never go through it, you'll never grow from it. So, um, important. Um, yeah. So, uh, did you have anything to talk about the flower moon before I get into something slightly off topic? Oh, okay. I was just thinking about like different things that you can do this month. If right? you talk about that, I'll talk about the trees after. So. The trees. The trees. Okay. Well, I was going to talk about planting. <laughs> Go for it. This is the perfect month to plant the trees and the flowers. I care about trees more than flowers. I'll be 100%. I oh, am so he's obsessed one... with bonsai trees. Trees. I love Tons bonsai trees. trees, but I love trees. He's good at making bonsai trees. Like, trees are just the most important thing we have ever. That is true. And that's so a bias opinion <laughs> but, i mean it, it like I, I i love trees trees are just amazing i remember i was in class one day and uh my we were walking around it was ecology class and yeah. my uh professor 
uh, we were just like talking about the trees and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, that's sassafras, that's this, and that's like a black pine, that's this. She was like, wow, you really low your trees. And I just looked over, I was like, I freaking love trees. <laughs> and she was just like, all right, dude, relax. I was just like, no, you don't understand. I love trees. <laughs> Um, and also not just planting flowers, but just bringing flowers into your everyday life, like making or spraying rose water or other floral sprays, mm -hmm. um, on your pillowcases and everything. <laughs> Take flower petal baths. Rose Meg petal sprayed baths a lot of perfume in the store best. earlier today. I almost choked. I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Started smelling like Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> I was like, whoa, I feel like I'm 14 walking through the mall again. I know. I don't have my rose water right now. It's not my house. Otherwise, I would have sprayed that. that I would have been, been like, good. Grandma? That would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> um, floral petal baths. Oh, my gosh. If we were in Bali right now. I went to Bali for a few weeks, <laughs> and I went to a spa, and I got a massage. But before my massage, oh. I took this, like, bath just full of rose petals. It was amazing. Um, that. Yeah. You know, and, I, can, I could never take baths. No? No, it always feels like I'm just swimming in my own stew. You know, just always yeah. felt weird oh, to me. Not yeah, to ruin no, baths true. for anyone. That's just my perspective. Well, you can like rinse off first and then take the I bath. think that's what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed yeah. to take like a shower, then a bath, right? Mm -hmm. Because then the bath gets gross. Yeah, there you right? go. There you go. Yeah. Um, oh, what's the All right, Adam, one? we'll see you later. Thank you for joining us. Oh, yeah. Have, Have a good, a good one. day, Adam. Nice talking with you. <laughs> um... Oh, what else? What was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, like floral teas. <laughs> oh, tea. Herbal teas. Tea. Um, and then there's edible flowers, too. For anyone in Worcester, there's a great apothecary that just opened up on Shrewsbury Street. Oh, yeah? Uh, called Thyme. Not Thyme as in your watch. Thyme as in the herb. T-H-Y-M-E. Okay. Um, great. Like, I loved it there. I, I'm, I re I'm getting all my herbs there now. So, hmm. you know. So, just saying. There you go. Really cool there you place. Go. Really cool place. I like the people too. I will have to check it out. Yeah, it was really good actually. Really, really good. Nice. Yeah. Um, let's see. No, I think that's. Good. <laughs> oh no, like, not me interjecting. Again. I think that's it. All right. Yeah. Time so, to talk about the trees. Yep. Yeah, now he's so, excited for this. I freaking love trees, man. Dude, trees are so good. While you get into I, that, I will be right back. All right. I to so, <clears throat> I have a question for. <laughs> I have a question for anybody. Have you ever felt like you could speak to trees? Now, <laughs> they're like, oh boy, here's this question. Uh, but, you know, you ever walk by a tree? You ever feel its energy? You ever feel it? Almost like how you're speaking to your animals in such a way where, <clears throat> how do I describe this? If any of you have a dog or a cat or like even a bird, They'll make noises, so we, th we associate that noise with what we know, right? How are you guessing that it's hungry? It's, sometimes dogs don't even like go to their bowl. I remember my dog used to make no noise. She used to, she actually, she used to just walk up to me, sit down and stare at me. And I'm like, what the hell do you want? <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know what you want, you know, but after staring at me for some time, I started to understand. This is when I first got her. I started to understand she's hungry. She wants this. She wants that. She never used to get, she never used to bark. Not at me, at least. And the times I was home alone with my dog, she would just sit down and stare at me and I knew what she wanted. And then she'd be fine. She would lay down right after she got whatever, whatever food, going outside, etc. So... It's the same feeling with trees. Trees have spirits. Trees have been alive for thousands of years, hundreds of years. Um, and they carry so much knowledge and so much energy with them. It's amazing. So, oh, sorry. Am, okay. am I just not letting you through? It's so, okay. one thing I do, not everyone does, but one thing I do is I make wands and I make staffs. Now, they're all handcrafted. I have I a wand from do... Andrew and it's really pretty. You do? Yeah. You Oops. don't remember? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, he's made me a wand before. <laughs> so, so I've made plenty of wands, okay? I don't remember them all. But, oh wait, I do remember yours. It's simple. It's just... Yeah, it was... Uh, it was you didn't add anything to it. Yeah, it but... was white maple 
and it was slightly bendy, and yeah. it was 12 and a half inches, from what I remember. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I remember that. So, <clears throat> the... Um, Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I didn't, I didn't read that. <laughs> so, I make wands and I make steps, and I put feather cores into them, etc., enhancing the energy of the wand. Now, these wands are energy directors, just like crystals, and you can put them on your table. Just uh, staves I use for walking. Uh, yes, I'm the guy walking through the woods with a, a crystal staff. <laughs> and you know what? And you know what's funny? Like, no one's ever, like, looked at me twice. They're probably just like, dang, it's that, it's that dude again walking through, the, <laughs> walking through the, with his wizard robes I have, like, stuff. a famous picture of you with your, with your um, you walking do? stick. Yeah, remember? Oh, yeah, I do. <gasps> I do Such a good that. picture. That was a nice place to hike, too. It was. Upton State Forest, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Can you what? Like not go there anymore? No, I can go there. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I can go there. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that doesn't sound creepy at all, so now I have to explain. <laughs> so, the reason why I wouldn't be able to go back there is, or it's like, oh, I'm not allowed in that state forest. Okay, that thanks. So, now I gotta explain. So, <clears throat> I had to do a burial there one day, so not, yeah, it gets worse. So, I had to do a burial there one day. And this is, let, actually, this works with this time. I actually had in here, you can do a burial. So things you need to let go. I had an item from an old partner of mine where she had given it to me and whatnot. And I needed to get rid of it. So I buried it. And one of the big things is don't look back. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I, just rem I just remembered one way I let go of an item from an ex-partner. Oh boy. Okay. So we're going to hold that story forever. It's a, it's a funny story. Uh, oh, no, oh no. Dude, fine. My, my, I've explained myself now. So you can go. How did you get rid of this item? Oh my God. I was in eighth or ninth grade. Oh boy. I think it was ninth grade. I was on vacation with my family. You threw it through his window. We broke up on vacation. So I had a teddy bear that he got me for, va for Valentine's Day. So my cousins and I took our little boat out into the ocean. It was a blow up boat and we just took oh, it man. out. It was like we Titanic. tied the bear to a brick <laughs> and we threw it in the ocean did you play my heart will go on by Celine Dion <laughs> no missed opportunity <laughs> missed it was like, fun so dang well hey you know I, I've uh, <laughs> I, uh, I did that with a pocket watch that was given to me did by you? another ex yeah well, mm -hmm. there you go. it wasn't made out of lead I actually made sure because I don't want to be tossing that into the water oh I but, know now I feel bad I tossed the bear into the water it's a bear it's but fine I'm sure plenty ninth of fish. grade me wasn't as uh, conscious I guess I'm sure the bear was fine <laughs> but now speaking <laughs> Christ now speaking uh Speaking on the trees and things like that, you don't have to go out and make wands. You don't have to go out and make staves. Um, you can carve runes. You can make your rune sets from the trees. You can do plenty of things, but going out and just spending time with them. Mm -hmm. Thinking of it like being with family, right? Go like, hug them. Yeah, yeah, go. It uh, feels I do. so good to hug a tree. It really it, does. It, thank you, Oh Stephanie. my God, it calms you down. It does, because you know what? They don't talk back. They don't have... <laughs> If, if you're any part of my family, they don't ask why. They don't ask why you're single. They don't ask why you haven't graduated yet. They don't ask why. <laughs> you just you can just hug the tree and they're just chilling and you're like, damn, this is like the best thing ever. <laughs> like, ask, so it's just no like, you know, asks. so it's just like no no stupid questions, just purely nice energy, and um, yeah. Good times, good times. And yes, you can speak to them. Let's say you do, you're not going to hear anything back. I mean, maybe you will. If um, that's a... Um, oh, crap. I forgot the... It's a type of telepathy. It's um, auditory, though. Uh, so you can hear certain things where sometimes I do hear. But, you know, it's really just... Are you feeling it? You know? Just, you know, it literally doesn't take anything to hug a tree. Just give it a hug. You know? Yeah. What if so they do good. feel it? You so know? Good. So it's a good time. Good time. <laughs> So that's a good way to honor uh, the space too. So now I will take some of my moon water and I will end up sp uh, spraying it or pouring it um, as I hike in my favorite hiking spots mm -hmm. um, after I make it this go around. And whatever tea I make, that will be medicine for the next month, which leads me into buying local honey. Go get your local honey. If you have allergies, that's literally the medicine for you. Or you bee pollen. 
Or bee pollen. I tried bee pollen just by itself, though. <laughs> just a teaspoon of it. No, don't mm -mm. do that. No. no it's, You're going to mix nasty. it in, like, a smoothie. You have to put it in something. Yeah. Do not eat that. So I mixed it in a smoothie now. Yeah, so... But so. actually, you know what? I noticed the days that I, I did that, my allergies were not as bad. Because... So that's the thing. You're allergic to the things in your area. You're not getting... You, you, you don't have... Okay, let's say your honey came from North Dakota. What, you, you think that flower's making you sneeze? No. You're the, the ones over here are making you sneeze. Get this honey. Like, the, like you need the honey here. It's going to be better than Claritin. You know, I've taken dozens of Claritin. You know what? I'm still sneezing. I'm still coughing. My eyes are still red. And I still hate the day. So, you know, you know what doesn't? Honey. Honey. And you know what? You can eat a crap ton of it. You know, being in nature is so clarifying. During active COVID, I would come home from working in healthcare. Full PPE and stuff. Oh. For half yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. that's awesome. It's about being in nature. It's being one with nature. That's why, like, if you put that tea, um, if you put that honey in your tea, it's medicine. Nature is medicine. Yes. I just wish the ticks didn't hang out. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm terrified of ticks. I, I, I'm, nope. Uh, uh now I'm feeling itchy. Oh, uh, uh -oh. man. So, so, like, I do not like ticks. Ticks are not my friends. Um, mm -mm. So, yeah, uh, just because the trees cannot hear. Oh, clear audience. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. There yeah. you go. So, um, just because trees cannot talk, hear, smell, taste, and touch the way we do, mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're not as evolved, if not even more evolved. They think, they send. Okay. Uh, this is not a tree, but I'm sorry. This I I'm that. Speaking boring. of trees, I just smoked some trees, so I'm like, <laughs> it's making me relax. Do you think they didn't hear that? Do you think they, you just whispered it into the mic? It's like, hey, by the way, everybody has it. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, um, we got on at 4:20. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, any, anyways. So, all right, so I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yes, this may not be trees. God damn it, Meg. This may, you. this may not be <laughs> trees, but you ever smell that smelly smell that smells when it rains? When it's smelly? <laughs> <laughs> That's grass. It's pheromones from oh, plants. It smells so good. And it's telling animals that it's going to rain. Oh yeah. So no, we awesome. know it's gonna rain. So if Open you know, I mean, windows, like if we didn't have the weather channel on our phones now and stuff. But back then, when we lived in nothing, we <laughs> nothing. like like I literally mean, nothing, like caves and stuff. Like when we were just, we don't know where to go, so we gotta figure this out. Um, it's like oh, sick a Sleep hole in a tree. Mac like I'm going in there tonight, uh, you know. So <laughs> that's how we knew it's gonna rain, and we couldn't stay outside in the rain. Now we're just like, oh, weather like raining at. 319 time to go inside you know so like people don't really know you know that smelly smell that smells <laughs> <laughs> isn't that from like spongebob it is from spongebob yes when mr Krabs was like that smelly smell that smells smelly <laughs> and then he's like anchovies <laughs> anchovies you know and then he just goes off on it oh i know I, I love how it smells too stephanie i love spongebob it is the freshest <laughs> Smell you can smell. That's Especially smells. smell you can smell it. Smelly, smell, smell, smell. smell. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. All right. So, um, <laughs> so try to honor. Right. Jeez, this has been a very silly stream. Try to honor. It's always a silly nature. stream, <laughs> Andrew. Oh, no, this one's been especially silly, smelly, smell, smell, <laughs> smelly, silly. Silly and smelly. And <laughs> you warned. <laughs> What? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, you can honor oh, your favorite spots. Honor your land, too, because that's where you live. Oh my god, I love my house. I love my land. I love it. My dad. I have the best thing in no, the world. <laughs> my dad is such a nature person and he's so in touch and he does the farmer's almanac and all that stuff. But like, he lets all the wildflowers grow around. So we get so many wildlife, so yes, much wildlife and turkeys and everything coming through our yard. It's awesome. I love it. 
and he plants a huge garden and we have mint that grows all along the side of our house we don't know how it got there actually which is pretty cool that started I a few years mint. ago so, i have so much mint in my because <laughs> like mint, so we make like good. mint tea and like we put mint in all of our food like yeah. all different armenian food has mint in it oh nice so like my aunt has a crap so ton of good. mint and she's always just like i don't know what to do with all of this mint because it's, it's a weed so yeah no wonder it's growing all on the side of the house <laughs> it's, oh it i love it if you don't barricade it it will be your lawn at yeah. some point it will choke out your grass Ooh. and be your lawn Ooh. speaking of mint oh boy oh boy i know in a live stream the one that with bethany a while ago i mentioned solar and lunar teas okay i just have to quit uh, quickly add this oh that's in, fine Andrew. i'm eagerly waiting okay so <laughs> solar infused peppermint tea is something that i made Ooh, once so solar infused I, peppermint tea yeah so you take a like crystal bowl and then you put in your herbs whatever tea you want to make so at this point i used fresh mint um you mint. rinse them off first obviously nah. um oh let's see i placed Let them in a stainless a steel pot okay with about a quart of cold water Anyways, you have the recipe in there yeah i, I <laughs> wrote the whole recipe okay so i left i left the tea <laughs> outside with the sunlight yes, for um three hours during the day and then I strained it, and then my and it was ready to go, ready to enjoy. So that's, oh, so you left out during the day. Yes. Yeah, so you make the tea instead of boiling water on the stove. You either leave it out in the sun, or you can leave it out in the moonlight on a full moon. <laughs> you know, if anyone knows our July's up here, the the water might start boiling. So. <laughs> um, but obviously, you want to put like a covering over it, so you know. No, bugs let the and, bugs get in there. It adds flavor don't go and no, also don't energy. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Was it? Oh, man. Da, 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 da. I put it in a mason jar. <laughs> cool. Oh. Anyways. Doesn't even remember yes. her own recipe. So, no, I'm joking. Um, it was a while. It was like three years ago I made that. Uh, yeah, when I was taking my herb class. Your yeah. herb class? My er herb class. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, mint is very good. I love mint. Mint is really good for your oh, stomach. Oh, so yummy. Um, now the um yeah so honor your land it's where you live it's where you possibly grow food you know if you happen to um you know it's it's important like honor that first because that's for you and for it but you know it's your symbiotic relationship there so i've been growing wild and wonderfully outside in the summer i infuse with water and lemon. oh my cute. gosh oh, yes no, okay that's... stephanie just said she infuses her water with lemon cucumber and mint <clears throat> that's, that's so good that's, really that's good spa too. water right there that's honestly i kind of want some right now right <laughs> i have regular I water and i'm like god i don't even want to drink that i have now. one of those like ginormous mason jar thingies with like the little uh oh crap what's it called <laughs> the thing at the end that <laughs> pours it out you <laughs> oh what can i think of it andrew do, do, give me the name do, 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 give me the name do, do, do. it's one of those ones that you'd get at like uh ocean state job a lot you mean a pitcher <laughs> it's it kind of yeah and then you like lift the lever and then it pours out god why can't i come up with the name of this thing <laughs> anyways i got one of those that'd be perfect but in it. <laughs> a spigot spigot yes. oh, spigot there we go thanks michelin i wouldn't have gotten that in ten thousand years <laughs> I, would have, I would have not gotten that thank you michelin Ooh. perfect all right so now i think this is a good time to start talking about the crystal of the day okay agate although let's re-show the oh this yes thank you this okay. is the giveaway for this week so um if this is your first time here comment comment saying hi anything you want you Ooh, will be entered in to focused. win this so this is a beautiful moss agate sphere as long as you comment any time throughout this live stream, your name will be entered into our wheel that will be spun at the end, and whosoever name our it lands wheel. on wins this beautiful moss agate sphere. Our wheel. So if you haven't commented yet, please our do, wheel. and don't be afraid if you th if you're like, oh no, I have to log off in a few minutes. That's fine. We will message you <laughs> if you want. Do not be afraid. Yeah. Look, it has some sparkle in there too. Oh, she found it. Oh yeah, I'm always gonna find the sparkles. <laughs> oh you yeah. Know me. <laughs> you I doubt my sparkles. abilities? <laughs> yeah. So definitely comment so you can get enter and to win that. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about agate. We have all different kinds of agate to show you. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have an agate section in our store, but 
Um, there are so many different kinds. We have, no, we have several different agate sections in the store. Um, so there's moss agate, there's blue lace agate, there's grape agate, carnelian is agate, all different kinds of agate. Um, so, yeah. All agate right. is found all over. Mm -hmm. I forget what, uh, did you write down what states it's mostly found uh, in the U.S.? I did not write down what oh, states it's mostly found, but like I do know remember. that you can find a lot of agate in Arizona. Okay. You can find a lot of agate up here, too. I found crap ton. Yeah, it's kind There's, of like everywhere. It really is everywhere. It grows synonymously with quartz, so you will find it a lot with quartz. You'll find it a lot with jasper. You'll find it as veins in jasper, too. Mm. So sometimes you can find red jasper on the beach, and then there'll be some white veins going through it. It could be quartz, it could be agate, but you know what? They're very synonymous. They're both silicate oxide minerals, too. So um, <clears throat> as far as agate goes, um, I have found carnelian in Westboro. Have you? Oh, wait, uh -huh. Reservoir. Yeah. Was I with you? No. Okay. I showed it to you, though. Okay. Oh, wait, were you with me? I don't know. Uh, Might have been. Don't know. Okay. But it was red and it was a cube. So, um... I know, actually, Stephanie, I didn't know that carnelian was agate either mm -hmm. until he told me today. Yep, a lot of times <laughs> it's actually called carnelian agate, but a lot, lately, everyone has just called it carnelian instead of carnelian agate, so... But it does look like agate, so you're it, right. No, yeah, no, it is. It's <laughs> agate. So... Um... Yeah. Yeah. So agate so, is very good for... Now, I'm gonna make a shout out back to one of our older streams talking about astral projection. I've used agate during astral projection. Oh. Agate is very good for memories, bringing back your memory. Does it help with like current everyday memory? Because my memory is off. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like soaking it all into, <laughs> like soaking in all the energy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I need it. My short term memory is whack. Um, I don't know, I think, uh, I think we lost your buddy. <laughs> but, uh. but, but, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but for everyone else, I think it'll be fine. No, I'm joking. <laughs> be... So rude. So, um, <laughs> um, so agate is very good for that. It's also, since it grows synonymously with quartz uh, in the physical plane, um, it actually does replicate some of its ability in the astral plane or the spiritual plane by it being really good to connect with the divine. Um, and that is like white agates, like clear agate, you know, things like that. Like that will be more related to that, while carnelian is good for your root chakra. So this is where we get into the fact that different agates are different colors, so we can color code these things. Excuse me. Like we talked about earlier, we didn't follow our diet today. So I'm having some stomach problems. Yeah, we did not. <laughs> um, so the different colors of different agate will be synonymous with... Uh, the chakras like moss agate i would say is really good for the heart chakra and i've used it for the heart chakra while grape agate is really good for creativity and bringing in messages because bah, 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 it's purple and it's good for the third eye um, blue lace agate very good for communication because it's blue it's a part of the throat chakra you know so so like really we just need agate and that's all we need we don't need anything else i mean like you know <laughs> I like other things too. Yeah, no, I'm just. I want my whole house filled with agate. Actually, <laughs> bringing it back to the casino conversation earlier, has anyone ever been to Mohegan Sun? Is there agate there? Literally, all of their pillars are this. Oh wow! And cool. it's just lights on the inside. It's all agate. Oh, which that's is cool. awesome! Yeah. Okay, now I want. At least go. the last time I went there, <laughs> but. It's not like they're not like repping like blue lace and they're not repping like moss agate and grape agate and stuff, but it's all like the natural looking agate that's through there. Like a lot of the ones that you would find in, uh, um, these are called thunder eggs as geodes, but a thunder egg is um, a term that I heard before that is just a geode that's full of agate. And when you slice them, they look like this. This is just one slice and probably out of 30 or 40 that created a whole geode. Like this, let's say this happens to be the center. It's not actually because it's angled. Oh. So this is slightly okay. off. If the center was here, it would be a circle like this and a circle like this. And then this whole thing would have been just full of this, which is cool. Andrew, you smart. Thanks. <laughs> I, try, I, try, I try. I try. Um, We picked agate today 
to go with the flower moon. Yep. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I I know I thought of agate to begin with because I because we were thinking about flower agate. Yeah, which we, we only have, have one, one piece. piece in the store. So. Um, that will be well, on the stream. Yes. We um, will be selling that. So yeah. what else about agate is good for this <laughs> month for the flower? So moon? since agate is really good with connecting to the divine, uh, whatever you want to call it, spirit, universe, whatever, um, this should aid you just like quartz in. Um, help like in basically getting those messages and helping that change move along so these don't enact change so don't get me wrong on that they don't they're not the catalyst for change you have to decide to allow that change to happen and these ease that through so if that makes sense you know because because it's like because i know i'm not explaining it that well that's why i said if it makes sense because it's it's Okay, you decide to make change happen and you're like, eh, I'm not really feeling this and making me nervous. I don't, eh. it's kind of gross. It's like, feels like sludge. Get it off me. <laughs> These will help that be easy. Like you won't say that having this around you. You'll, you'll be like, oh, okay. you know, I understand I need to get through this and it does suck, but you know what? Whatever, screw it. Let's see what happens. That's with this around you. <clears throat> and I've even used agate for dreaming before. Something we've talked about, I think it was last week we talked about dreams, did we? Or the week, no, it was the week before. How dare I not remember that? Yeah, it was, you were uh, with Coral when you yeah. talked about the dreams. It was with dreams. Uh, I've used these. And again, just, just because agate isn't shaped in uh, points or like a pointy shape, it doesn't mean you can't use it just like you use quartz as an energy director. Remember that energy is within the stone. Mm -hmm. And you are having the intent behind it. You are setting that energy to where it needs to go. So it depends yes. on what you want to do. These can still be used in grids. These can still be, you know, all over the place. So, exactly. All right. So it's right. time to go through the crystal. Yep. Let's do it. All right. So <laughs> that brings us to our first piece. This is our flower agate, our one flower agate that we have in store. Um, but it's beautiful. I wonder, can I put this light up a little bit more? Make it brighter? Because I feel like it's kind of dim, or is that just me? It is not lit in here, it's dim. Ah, uh, technical difficulties. I don't know how to turn this off brighter. I think it's fine, it's just <clears throat> Okay, well anyways. And this will be agate number one. <laughs> Hi, Holly. So this is oh, agate Holly. number one. This is our flower agate heart. Um, it's huge. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sparkly <laughs> in there. <laughs> um, it is huge. As you saw, I was just holding it up against my heart. <laughs> um, so this is number one. It's originally 80, and you're going to get it for 64. Yep. Awesome. Um, so if you want our one and only flower agate piece here at the shop, then comment and flower it's agate number one. Like if you hold that up, like yeah, no, it's huge. Regard, like it's big. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to some moss agate. So I know a few of you were interested in a, in a sphere. Um, so we do have one on as our as our giveaway today. That if you've commented, you will be entered in to win it. This one is for sale though. Um, this one is originally 35, so you're going to get it for 28. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and this is agate number two. Yeah, so this is <clears throat> agate number two, moss agate sphere. So you can just comment one of those things and claim it, and it'll be yours. Um, again, you have 24 hours to claim it, so until 4.20 tomorrow, mm -hmm. you, or 6 o'clock. Six o'clock <laughs> tomorrow. You can six o'clock claim these Another things in case you, you know you couldn't you couldn't join us today. So this is the moss agate sphere. All right, and then we have a moss agate pyramid here, which is absolutely beautiful. I love moss agate because it, it looks like there's moss growing in it, and it kind of looks like the earth. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is agate number three. You're going to get this for $16. $16. 
<laughs> um, now, these, which are absolutely beautiful, we have multiple of these, so multiple people can claim. $8, it's going to be $8 each. So, just beaded bracelet, hmm. easy to slip on and slip off. Um, so, Moss Agate bracelet. And that will be Agate number four. Or you could say Moss Agate bracelet. Yeah. And then again, we have multiple of these, so multiple people can claim these for $8. And we have two more Moss Agate pieces. This one is a little tower. This is absolutely beautiful. I feel like the dimensions in that. This is Agate number five. Agate number five. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like there's a little face up here. Do you see that? Oh yeah, I do see that. A little face. <laughs> it kind of looks a little squished. All and right. how much is this? $13. This is going to be $13 for this Moss Agate Tower. So if you are interested in this, let us know. Moss Agate is really good, what did I say earlier, for balancing emotions. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling really unstable, this is the crystal to keep on you. All right, and then our last piece is a mini, well, not too mini. It's like palm, palm stone, um, heart, moss agate heart. And this is gorgeous. This has a lot of green in it, which is Oh, cool. yeah. And how much is our moss agate heart? $12. $12. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the moss agate. Again, if you see anything that you want, comment below. Let us know. Um, and then the, these will be available for 24 hours. So, moving in to, what would this agate be considered? Just a slice, okay. like a natural agate, agate slice. Natural agate slice. And so this is the one that Andrew was it, talking about that's like G-O-D. If you have a light behind it, you can see all the color that does come Whoa. through. That's cool. Yeah, like the reddish brownish kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. So this slice is 12. All Indeed right. It is. Okay, so this is going to be agate slice 7 for $12. Then the pendant. Ooh. Well, it was 12. No, I'm joking. It's still it's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. So we have these beautiful pendants. I have to take your sticker off, Andrew. Oh, no, not there my sticker. Go. Okay, so this is coated in a sterling silver. Yep. Um, and this is an agate pendant. It's going to be $8. $8. That's not bad. <laughs> we have all different kinds of, of these at the store. They all look very different. But. All right, so this is number eight. And then I'll kind of hold it up just so you can see, like, the size of it. Yeah. Now this one. Oh, this one's beautiful, so... <laughs> really big. It's like an agate slice tower yeah. kind of. It's a thing slice. It's huge. It does come with a Very stand sparkly. because it's not self-standing. It has all of that beautiful druzy in it. So this is beautiful for decoration in your home, in your workspace. We do have like a little stand here just to put it on. And this is agate number ten, and it's going to be sixty dollars. Agate ten, sixty bucks. <laughs> 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 Am I good at this, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> so the heart... Oh, this is my <laughs> favorite. I have been staring at this for a very long time now. So this is number 10. <laughs> so, so she's like, so no one buy it. Notice how someone, there's Google eyes. Someone put googly eyes on it. It looks like a little face. Is it? Was it you, Tom? It wasn't Tom. That's right. <laughs> um, so it comes with the googly eyes, but you can take them off. Um. <laughs> but you can, no, the fact it, that's crystal actually grew with Google eyes <laughs> on it, so you can't take it off. Um, and so what's cool is the druzy almost looks purple. We're gonna hide the eyes for a second. <laughs> the it does kind of look purple. <laughs> Tom wasn't me. Um, <laughs> so this heart is me. beautiful. <laughs> it's a good size. <laughs> So it will be agate number, I'm ten. sorry, the last one was this, agate number nine. This one is agate number 10. Yes. And this is going to be $60. So $60 for this beautiful agate heart. Okay. And then we have a couple little free forms. So this is really cool. It's like a little portal, like a little agate portal. Uh, nice deepish kind of blue. 
to it, which is cool. Um, has some druzy on the back. Mm -hmm. um, really cool to just put on your desk, have around. And this is going to be agate number 11 for $12. $12. You can see through it, too. Yeah, you can. I can see. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we have some bookends. These are dyed, just to let you know. These ones are? Yeah, they are. I thought these were the natural ones that uh, I picked the, out. The blue. Oh, the blue. Yeah. Okay. So there is a little blue dye in this. I'm actually going to get my book to show you guys. <laughs> See it in action See on it one in book. Look at this. This book has two ends and they're being held up. <laughs> there we go. Book ends. I get book ends. And how much are these? Uh, <clears throat> it is sixteen dollars for the pair. Ooh. Like it's only sixteen bucks for two agate bookends. Like come on. Yeah. It comes with the book too. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we're going to get into the This blue is lace. a really cool one right here. This is one of my favorite pieces in the store. Oh, that's the pol the polished one is next? Okay. Yep. I guess I put it in the wrong order. Uh, this is number 13 no, for... No, this says 14 on it. 14. <laughs> Anyways, we'll make this 14. I mean 13, if you want. Hmm. Uh... All right. Well, I guess that's what's happening. So, all right. Number 13. So this 13 will be 13. For $10. $10. So this bucks. is a little polished piece of the blue lace agate. And this has quartz growing in the center suit. It's super cool. It's like a canyon. Yeah, that is cool. Beautiful. All right. So that's 10. You said 10? Nine. Uh, $9. This is $10. $10? Yep. This is $10. Okay. And the next one, this one is $120 for a huge blue lace cookie monster. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and this one also has the googly eyes. Here we go. <laughs> he looks yeah. stunned. Oh! <laughs> he does look stunned. He's camera shy. He's he is. Aww, <laughs> now I feel bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> See that true empath. Yeah, right. I know I feel bad for things that aren't even alive. Well, I guess you know what? Kind of alive. So look how um, happy he is. Yeah, so beautiful <laughs> blue lace agate here. Very sparkly. It's huge. And how much is it? Hundred and twenty dollars. Hundred and twenty buckaroos. For agate number what? For number <laughs> for uh what does this one say? Thirteen. So this is gonna be fourteen now. Yeah, this is number 14. <laughs> okay, we're just going to have to switch those two stickers. All right, now the next one, this is $24 for another blue lace agate cluster. Not as huge. So but... one more blue lace agate. Here we go. Sparkly. There we go. It's actually really sparkly. It's super druzy on the inside there. Yeah. 15. And then there's this other little... Is that my bad sticker? Whoa. Oh, you can see through this one, too. <laughs> kind of so looks like a heart on one? the back. Uh, this is oh, yeah, it does. $24. A little heart. Okay, so 24 for this blue lace agate. All right. Now, the next one is going to be a carnelian agate sphere okay. for $12. So we're getting into the carnelian here. You said $12 for this sphere? Indeed. Okay. So we have two carnelian spheres here. This is carnelian sphere number one. And it's gonna be $12. So if you want carnelian sphere number one, let us know. Okay, number two, this one is a little bit smaller. It's also $12. Also $12. Um, but a little bit more detail there. Very beautiful. Now a carnelian pendant. We have a ton of these. These are going to be eight dollars each. So and multiple people if... can just hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so multiple people can claim. Yes, multiple people can claim these little carnelian pendants that are going to be eight dollars each. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I'm going to take this. Thank you very much. Carnelian agate freeform. This yes. is going to be this is agate. beautiful. 
What? <laughs> this, <nothing. laughs> this is a really nice piece. It looks like a potato. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of potatoes are you eating? <laughs> Look, you know, potatoes have like the little eyes on the no, side, and then it's actually. also kind of shaped like a potato. Is it? Are your potatoes red? No, I'm just talking about the shape and the little eyes on it. Yeah, my potatoes stare me down when I boil them too. <laughs> <laughs> this side is very different. Yeah, it's an entirely like it looks completely different. Yeah, no, it's cool. So you got cool. way more orange so on this side. So you have two different stones. Side. Yeah, it, this is awesome. Do you have a beige room? And it stands right on its own. Do you have any other colored room? The other side. Yeah, no, this <laughs> is a really good decoration. Good for your desk at work. There you go. This is going to be $56. 56 for this guy. And this is so agate number, big. which one? Everything's, <laughs> yeah, which one? This is 19. Number 19. Number 19. Oh, now. okay. And then our last group of agates, grape agate. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote grapke agate. Grapke. <laughs> Here's our grapke agate. This is going to be $160 for this beautiful piece absolutely amazing i just don't even want to hand this over to meg come on i just it's such a night nice, this is one of my favorite stones give it to me jeez all right you see that <laughs> see that witnesses <laughs> all right so we got this beautiful Both. large piece of grape agate here which does not do it justice with the color it's Hold amazing on, it's like, that this just grows like. right, i want to show people what it looks like with the druzy on it oh yeah move that around and it's sparkly very too. druzy very purple this oh is my crazy. Gosh, it's amazing. This is insane. This is one of the nicest pieces of grape agate. Obviously, ever. it's called grape agate because it looks like grapes. Here, you can <laughs> actually get the light to shine through it, too. There you go, Andrew. Thanks. So, this piece is how much? $160. $160 for this piece. And this is agate number 20. Agate 20. Okay, I'll hand that back to you. All right. We have four more agates to show you, and then that's it for our crystals today. So, just put this down. Oh God. Okay. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Thank you. This is another grapke agate. It's a uh, grapke. <laughs> um. <clears throat> this one has a little bit more of like a turquoise in it. What does the like back of it say? Actually. This is twenty-one. Number twenty-one. So this is going to be sixty dollars for this one. This has this some of that green beautiful. in it. I'm just gonna use my phone for a light here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this one's really sparkly too. You can get the light through them too, if you go from the bottom. Hold Sometimes. on, let me until it focuses. Focus! Oh yeah, maybe if you yell at the camera, it'll do it. I'm gonna give you to the count of three. Look at those sparkles. Oh my God, that is beautiful. How much is this piece? $60. Okay, $60 for this. And they sing too. They sing? Ooh. When you move your finger across it. Ooh. I don't know if the mic is picking that up, but. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you got to be careful with it, but when you're moving your finger across it, I know I do that with my gray packet at home. It sings. So this one is $44. 44. This and one this is gray packet 22. Or agate 22. Or, yeah. Oh, I turned my light off. So this one's a little sparkly too. You said 22. This is number 22 for number how much? Number 22 for $44. 44 for this piece. All right. Okay. Two more. So this one is a little bit smaller. This one's very sparkly. This one's gonna be 16. And this is number 23. Okay, just gotta get it to focus. There we go. Doesn't focus when I put the light on it, but <laughs> you can see the sparkle. This is number 23? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's for 16. And then one more. We have a bunch of these in the store. Yeah, so, so multiple can, people can claim yeah. these ones. So this, this is, is a little dollars. grape agate jar. So this is all loose grape agate in this cute little jar. Only $8 for this one, and we have multiple, so multiple people can claim these. Mm -hmm. I mean, look how cute this is. And this is something you could even wire wrap to turn into a pendant. Just you to could. Walk, you know, yeah. Where they're cool. pretty light. They're not, mm -hmm. I mean, they are sizable, but they're pretty light, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. All right. So that's it for our crystals. So um, again, if you missed the live stream and you're watching it later, don't worry. You have 24 hours. So until 6 p.m. tomorrow, May 2nd, <laughs> yes. um, to claim any of these items, just comment again what it is um, or the number of it, and we will get back to you. Mm -hmm. Now, quickly, let's go through all the crystals again uh, before the end. And we will uh, go to the Wheel of Names. Okay. As always. Okay. All right. All right. So first one, the first agate was the Flower Agate Heart. So this was agate number one. Agate one for? Uh, $64. $64. Then this Moss Agate Sphere was $28. $28. Moss Agate number two. Then this is the Moss Agate Pyramid for $16. Agate number three. And then multiple people can claim this next one because they're the bracelets. These will be $8. Moss Agate four. Or Agate four. <laughs> and the Moss Agate Tower is going to be $13. I get number, number five. <laughs> She's on top of that one. Yes, I'll say the name. I mean the numbers. <laughs> name the name. All right. Now the next one is going to be $12. This is the Moss Agate Heart. Moss Agate six. <laughs> <laughs> agate number six. <laughs> the next one is also going to be $12. This is a natural agate slice. Okay. Agate number seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, now the next one will be an agate slice pendant for $8. Agate eight. <laughs> now the big agate tower is going to be $68. This is agate number nine. All right, there we go. <laughs> and the next one is going to be an agate heart for $60. Agate 10. <laughs> and then... I feel like I'm like some, like on an announcement somewhere like... <laughs> agate number 10. <laughs> this is uh, going to be an agate free form for $12. Agate number 11. Then the next one is going to be a, the dyed agate bookends for $16. Agate 12. And then this is going to be the blue Chalcedony piece here. Blue lace agate. Um, sorry, blue lace, my mistake. <laughs> blue, blue lace agate um, polish piece for $10. Oh, is this number 13? This is number 13. 13. <laughs> here you go. And then the big cookie monster for $160. 160 for this big guy who's camera shy. Who's also Agate 14. Agate 14. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Then the Carnelian Spheres. Wait, we forgot about that little one. Oh, sorry. Sorry. This is going to be $24. The blue lace Agate 15. cluster. Agate 15. Agate 15. All right. And the Carnelian Spheres are both going to be $12 each. So this one is... 16. I get 16. Oh, Armin, it is tremendous. <laughs> Matrendous. <laughs> this is I get 17, also $12. Armin, we, uh, we actually talked about earlier some of my nicknames that uh, you also graciously gave me. Why'd you say it again? Why'd you say it Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> So this is a carnelian pendant that's going to be $8 and multiple people can claim them. Yes. And this is 18. I get 18. I get 19. Is the, the potato looking? <laughs> <laughs> For $56. Yes. 56. This is going to be 19. Carnelian 19. <laughs> Notice how he's laughing. <laughs> All right, now this big grape agate, beautiful piece, is going to be $160. $160. Agate 19. Agate 19. 
160. This is number 20 for this beautiful piece of grape agate. <laughs> Potato agate. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. <sighs> Gotta be careful. No, I'm joking. Good. Good. <laughs> Uh, sixty dollars for this piece. Okay, and this is number twenty-one. Agate number twenty-one. Then this is going to be forty-four dollars for this agate piece. And this is number twenty-two. This grape agate piece is going to be sixteen dollars. 23. And finally, multiple people can claim this. This is the agate bottles, or grape agate bottles for $8. That you can easily turn into a pendant. <laughs> All right. All right. So now, before we, we get to the again. wheel of names, mm -hmm. I think you have an announcement. Don't I do you? have an announcement. <laughs> Sad, sad announcement. Well, first of all, starting off, next week, next Monday, May 8th, is my birthday. So I have the day that off that day. That is not the announcement I was talking about. <laughs> well, I'm starting out with that. So since it's my birthday, I won't be here, but Coral, who y'all love, is going to be filling in for me that day. Um, and then after that, I will only have a few more live streams left. Two to four around there. Um, I don't know exactly. I am actually going to be leaving Funky Stuff. <laughs> hopefully temporarily, but I will be leaving funky stuff um, probably end of May, beginning of June. I'm gonna be working with my boyfriend over the summer into the fall, uh, doing something completely different from Crystal's <laughs> <laughs> insurance stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys too. And thank you for wishing me happy birthday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'll fill you in on my birthday shenanigans next live stream that, I'm, uh, that I am here. But um, yeah, again, I will be leaving end of May, beginning of June. So Coral most likely is going to be my replacement when we I We are leave. still working it out, but we're, yeah, but you know, we don't know we're for figuring sure. it out. And we're going to try to get me in like Zoom, you know, like how Tom inserts his uh, picture of himself sometimes or mm -hmm. <laughs> in the video. <laughs> Tom, can you do it to show everybody? <laughs> well, where is he? Is he... <laughs> He's going to, oh, oh yeah. So, okay. So we're going to try to do this with, with me at some point <laughs> um, while I'm gone. So I won't be completely gone forever. And I do plan on coming back in the future. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so wanted to let you guys know that before all of a sudden one day I'm not here no more. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you guys so much for the wishes. I, I appreciate that. And I know insurance stuff is no fun, but... It will, you know, have lots of no, good, good yeah. rewards. Yeah, Holly, boo. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get us to where we want to be, so. Yeah. Yep. You know, sometimes you got to make sacrifices, but. And that's the change that we talked about today, right? Temporary. You know, not all change is good. All change is good no <laughs> yes, matter what. exactly. It Even is. Even if so. some interesting things happen along the way, all change is good. Things always end up okay. Yes. No matter what. So. But again, I'll still be here though for at least a few more live streams. So mm -hmm. I'm not gone yet. Just preparing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. With, so, uh, with that being said, let's spin the we wheel. Are, well, let's oh, give yeah. everyone okay. a couple seconds. You have one here. more minute. If you haven't commented your name yet, comment. We're going to make sure you're in the wheel um, and to win the Moss Agate Sphere. Here, let's show this to them. Okay. Here, here so, this is what you're going to win if you. If it na lands on your name, <laughs> I can't talk. Oh, the camera's not on. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> so you will have one more minute to comment anything so you can be in the wheel of names. Yes. Keep it wheel. Keep it wheel. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder who said that. <laughs> I don't know actually. Oh, we have one more person that commented. Oh. <laughs> well, 
Stephanie, feel free to come on down. And anyone who wants to come to the shop, we are open during the week, Monday to Friday, 11 to 6. And on the weekend, we are open 10 to 6. So. Yes. So we're open every day. <laughs> I know. I wasn't going to call you out, Stephanie. But when I did read it, I was like, I have only Beeb. I'm like, hey, all right. <laughs> 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 All right, I think we're ready to spin the wheel whenever what is you are, that Tom. Sound? That, is, that is a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, dude, freak out. <laughs> All right. Oh, I miss motorcycle rides. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, let's spin this wheel. In 10, 9, 8, uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. It's not in focus. Two and a half. Oh. No! Right. Oh, it focused in the end. We got Rebecca. Rebecca Anastasia. That's a beautiful name. Congrats, Congrats everyone give Rebecca. a round of applause for Rebecca. Woo. All right, you're gonna win the Moss Agate Sphere. You're gonna, so yep, there it is. We you're will message you about this and get this to you. Oh yes. There you go, you ASAP. Go. So thank you guys for joining us today. It's always awesome chatting with you. It always makes our Mondays great. Um, let us know if there's anything specific you want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, we're always looking for ideas. Any crystals you want to see, let us know. Comment on here, message us, tell us in person, whatever. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes and the oh, yeah. farewell wishes. I appreciate that. Again, I'm not <laughs> fully gone yet, but <laughs> <laughs> just want to tell y'all. Um, nice to see you too, Holly. Thank you. Thank you, and, Holly. Yeah, nice to see you as well. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Oh, you yes. have until 6 p.m. tomorrow to claim any of the crystals we went through Indeed. today. So. so remember, go yes. back, watch the stream, comment, mm -hmm. check it out. Let us know what you want. Feel free to DM us and yeah, yeah we will reanimate we next week. Okay. <laughs> you haven't done that recently. Amethyst. I think did, we did Amethyst last week, right? Did we? Yeah, we did. Well, something, Stephanie, really quick before we go. All of our live streams are archived and mm -hmm. we have started a YouTube channel in which we will be posting those streams to. Yeah, so, so you can all, you can go back and watch it. You can definitely go back and watch it. If you're interested in all like the knowledge and things like that and whatever we can provide, then uh, they are definitely there. And if they've disappeared from Facebook, we're trying to get them to the YouTube channel and things like that too. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Awesome. So we'll see you guys next week. Well, Andrew and Cora will see you guys next week and then I'll see you in two weeks. Awesome. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. the link. Funky That's stuff. the link Just to the, the funky link. stuff There you YouTube. go. <laughs> so cool. All right. Well, have a good week, everybody. Bye. We were talking about Agate today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to sing the credits? And the flower moon. Uh, I always sing the credits. We're going to have to write a song. I we can't, do. We, can't, we I can't, do. I can't just keep being like writing songs. Like, Andrew, these. you're good at writing songs, yeah. so just write oh. one already. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's a, sorry, boss. I'll get right on that. <laughs> Man behind the curtain. Tom Fenton. The funky crew. The funky crew. We got a good, good, pretty, good crew here. Full we got a good, funky, pretty, funky pretty funky good, people. good, pretty. Got pretty, lots good. of funky people here. Got lots of funky Including people. Mr. Funky. Mr. Funky's the funky. And you. If you're here, you're pretty funky too. Yeah, I if you're assume. here, you're funky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun <laughs> funky. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Have a good week, everybody. All right. Bye. <laughs>